There are molecules that are found in nature and molecules that are of therapeutic use that are difficult to assemble. And so uh, usually that requires, just like if you were gonna make the Great Pyramids of Giza or make a Roman aqueduct, right? That required some ingenuity uh, and some innovation in order to invent those, those sort of marvels of the universe, right? And so um, we do that on, of course, the molecular level where we can take molecules that either are important and deserve a better uh, construction uh, and try to invent brand new reactions that we can utilize to construct these molecules more efficiently, or we will invent brand new strategic pathways to assemble molecules that have never been made before uh, in human history. The long-term big picture goal of our work is to uh, invent tools and end products or molecules that are of therapeutic use in biomedical applications. So right now, uh, we're sort of focus, focused in the neuroscience realm, uh, making molecules that are effective for uh, treating uh, neuropsychiatric conditions. Uh, but usually these molecules are small molecules that are effective in, in disease. One project, a uh, major sort of focus in our lab, focuses on treating uh, neuropsychiatric ailments and we're utilizing uh, different psychedelic scaffolds to, uh, to treat these uh, ailments. So these ailments include things like PTSD, uh, things like severe depression, uh, and in particular one scaffold that we're interested in is actually a very popular scaffold uh, in pop culture called LSD. And so we make um, engineered LSD analogs to try to treat these uh, neuropsychiatric ailments. Uh, in addition, and sort of dovetailing with that, is the need to assemble these molecules in an effective and targeted way. That then inspires us to invent new chemical reactions to then access their structures efficiently. So that sort of is another realm where we invent brand new reactions with targets in mind that may be beneficial or may just look beautiful to the eye uh, and serve as a testing ground for these uh, reactions in their uh, development. So the skills that students will acquire in my group are how to assemble molecules. That in, entails both the uh, kinesthetic learning of how to set up a reaction, how to uh, manipulate certain reagents, how to um, you know, manage working in a fume hood and that sort of thing. Uh, and, but in addition, uh, in, on paper, people will learn how to best design the synthesis of a molecule or best implement uh, types of reactions, whether new, as in they've been invented in our lab, or whether they are uh, sort of tried and true reactions that can then be utilized in sort of a novel context. Uh, and so both that uh, synthetic design uh, and sort of implementation of that in the lab is what students will learn. And this is useful in industries like the pharmaceutical industry, which is uh, the largest employer of organic chemists uh, in the world. And so people will learn that skill set in order to uh, propel them into that sort of uh, professional space.